Polygon 2.0 is the ultimate vision of Web3 to achieve an infinitely scalable Web3 ecosystem which is not only infinitely scalable but is also interconnected. It has unified liquidity or unified composability where all the applications on all these hundreds or thousands of chains can interact with each other seamlessly. Did you hear that? Interact seamlessly, guys. I am so bullish on Polygon Matic, it's not even funny. People keep fading Polygon Matic, and that's why in this video today, not only am I gonna be giving you a price prediction, but there's 22 projects, guys, that can absolutely explode with Polygon 2.0, and it was just launched today, or on the 28th, actually, I think it's been about two or three days now, the year or the time of aggregation layer is finally here. I'm going to tell you guys what that is about today, give you that price prediction on Polygon Matic, and in my opinion, what could potentially become the biggest DEX of the Polygon network, guys. Let's dive into today's video. So, of course, guys, Polygon DeFi is starting to ramp up. There's this new token uh, anomics are this brand new upgrade that is coming to Polygon Network where they are shifting everything and there is tons of updates including 19 DeFi products and I counted 22 in this. Uh, they've actually onboarded just a few more that we'll get to in this video. But this is the year of aggregation. Here is their CEO explaining why we're going from monolithic and modular now to aggregate and this can spark an entire new trend in the crypto market. Really important. So there's, there's two pieces to this and we'll be releasing this in like two different stages. We've got like let's call it like version one uh, of this. And it's actually gonna be a pretty simple thing, simple, relatively speaking. Um, it's basically just gonna be a unified contract that all of these CDK chains will plug into. It'll just be a contract on a, on a smart contract on Ethereum. Um, and what that's going to allow is interoperability between these chains, but it's gonna be like slow, it'll still be expensive, but it will allow like true kind of secure uh, interoperability in a much more trust minimized way than what you get anywhere else. Um, that's kind of like version one that, um, you know, if we want to preview things for next month, will be like a next month uh, type thing. Um, and then if we fast forward probably uh, about six, eight months, a little bit later, what we're going to get is like the, the what I'll consider like the game changing nature of the interop. And what we start doing at that point in time is there actually is a kind of new layer being built. And what it does is it aggregates proofs from all of these chains, right? So what you have to assume is all these CDK chains use ZK Tech, and therefore they all use a prover, um, but also a proving system. And we don't need them to use the same prover, like the actual same machine, not necessary. It's not like a shared proving requirement. But what we do need them to use is the same proving system. Um, which we are the long leaders in, in creating kind of uh, what Plonky 2 that is like widely used throughout like the ecosystem and our provers use kind of Plonky 2. So when people launch CDKs, what they're going to do is they're going to be creating proofs that are like, let's call them like the same types of proofs. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, aggregate those proofs, bring those proofs kind of together um, and then actually wrap those proofs in another proof. Um, and you can actually continue to wrap more proofs into that wrapped proof. Um, and what you get is actually you get a ton of, leaving aside like the interoperability, you actually get a ton of efficiencies from proving um, because you're basically saying, hey, instead of each of these chains needing to prove to Ethereum, what you're going to do is they're all going to continue to like prove into proofs and you'll put one massive proof, which doesn't cost you anymore. You'll put that onto Ethereum. But what you're going to do in the meantime with these proofs that all have the exact same trust assumptions is you are going to allow for cross-chain transactions when these proofs are being aggregated. And therefore, as these proofs get aggregated, you are going to allow for uh, atomic kind of transactions between these chains, and you will have sub five second transactions between these chains. Wow. Really important. Sub so five second transaction, guys. And shout out to Jesse Eckel here, guys, who put out a Twitter thread and had the interview originally where he said Polygon 2.0 building out an entire universe of different chains. The ability to move between these chains within seconds with bridging abstracted away completely. Polygon DA and solution similar to something like Celestia Org. OKX, which has over 50 million users building their X1 network chain on Polygon Matic. And he goes into all of the partnerships and the allowance between the interoperability, 
This is huge, guys. Polygon 1.0, or just Polygon 1, the original, guys, was just a single sidechain. I'm convinced that Polygon Labs is going to massively outperform expectations in 2024, and I highly recommend you check out that hour and 21-minute interview. It is so important, but essentially, guys, this aggregation layer is going to be opened up a ton, a ton of new opportunity, not only for billions of dollars in potential liquidity, but innovate and efficiently make the network much, much faster. And some of the first products that are going to be taking place and utilizing this, guys, are going to be the 19 DeFi products that we're seeing through Layer 3X. The ecosystem is taking over the DeFi Unleashed ramp up campaign powered by Layer 3 XYZ. Explore the Polygon ZK EVM DeFi products as they go live. So some of the ones that are going live right now, guys, are going to be Layer 3, Pancake Swap, a board exchange, you can say just DEX here, uh, Finance, and of course, Sin Futures, Dairy, Diva Staking, and I highly recommend you check these all out. Now, I'm not going to be going each and every single one of these uh, in this video today, but I am going to be touching on one of my favorite DEXs, which is Quick Swap, Quick Swap in just a moment. But first, guys, we do need to understand a little bit more what Polygon 2.0 means for this network. And that's why it's super important we go over the actual, we're going to listen to the hyper productive token here from Sandeep, one of the co-founders of Polygon. I've mentioned this in the past, guys, but Polygon Matic here, guys, check this out. Even though it is moving up a little bit on the hour, we're looking on the hourly. If you click daily and just zoom out on Polygon Matic, this is by far the greatest layer two on the market and is actually turning into essentially a layer one blockchain ag agnostic platform. I believe this is criminally undervalued, guys. This is one of the most bullish patterns I have possibly seen. I think it's incredibly undervalued at this moment. Sitting at a $10 billion market, market cap, I think Polygon Matic is going to destroy market expectations and reach a 30 to $40 billion range in the near term. That is going to be in this bull cycle. And that's because of this, aggre this aggregation layer, guys. Poll 2.0 is going to be opening up so much new opportunity between monolithic algorithms and all of these crazy, fancy technical terms Essentially, guys, it just means faster transaction speeds, more interoperability, quicker finality, and this all equates to more liquidity, more development, faster transactions, more, more community development, and just overall upside price action, and it makes me more bullish than ever. And for some reason, guys, everybody keeps fading Polygon. Oh, it hasn't performed yet. It's, it's performing slowly, Josh. That's what you want to see. It hasn't even moved yet, and Bitcoin is at $62,000, $63,000. Polygon Matic, one of the best performers in last market. Everybody talked trash on it. Ended up doing like 100x from 2020 into 2022, 2023, or sorry, 2021. This is a product that is still outperforming. It is dominating, and we're watching DEX volume start to hit new highs that we haven't seen in years. And I'll get to that in just a, mo uh, just a moment. But let's first take place, or watch, sorry, uh, this hyper-productive token interview from Sandeep. Perhaps the most important part of what Polygon 2.0 is really going to provide. The hyper-productive token. Why is it called a hyper-productive token? This Here revolution started with BTC, where BTC is the uh, token of Bitcoin network. And the main, you know, utility of BTC is that it's the store of value. But as a user, you can't stake that BTC in the BTC network by, for providing security or any kind of work in the BTC ecosystem with which you can earn more incentives or rewards. Now Ethereum happens and now you can validate on this single Ethereum chain uh, using your Ethereum. You can stake it into the network, provide the security into the Ethereum network and thereby earn the staking reward. And then comes Polygon. Not only you can validate on one chain, you can actually validate on hundreds and hundreds of chains. And not only validate on hundreds of chains, you can, you can also participate in various different roles. That means you can be a validator or sequencer, but you can also be a data availability provider. You can also be a prover and you can also participate in this aggregator layer, which is aggregating Ooh. the proofs from various chains. There are many, many things to do as a poll holder to provide the work and services to the Polygon ecosystem. And that's why it is, it is being called third generation hyper productive token. Third generation hyper productive token, guys. I <laughs> Polygon Matic is a blue chip to me, guys, and people are still undervaluing it by far. I don't know why people just can't get this through their heads, but this is going to be increasing an entire new type of demand for the overall network. You're going to be able to not only stake and participate in Ethereum, but using the poll token, which is the new update to their token of Matic. 
Uh, this is going to allow you to participate in multiple networks. And as he mentioned, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of networks at the same time and reap those benefits. I don't think the market is honestly ready at all for what is about to come. So let's talk about, guys, what are some of the products that are going to be reaping the benefits of Polygon's new upgrade, which, by the way, guys, is starting to roll out. This was pinned on, of course, February 28th, uh, the first initial announcement of the aggregation age. I believe this is going to create an entirely new trend in this market. Of course, I do say he was wrong in the sense that uh, he was trash on Bitcoin a little bit, then Ethereum. He left out everything his stacks doing and Bitcoin layer twos, which I am still extremely bullish on, guys. But Polygonmatic is by far one of the biggest positions in my portfolio. So, you know, looking at Polygonmatic here, guys, of course, you got all of these different products that we showed you in the beginning of this video, but the one that really stood out to me of is going to be QuickSwap right here. Now, the reason for this is QuickSwap is a massive DEX already on top of uh, Polygon Matic. It's roughly a $38 million market cap. When you check it out on uh, DEX tools right here, we can see $38 million market cap, still very, very, very early. And it's starting to break out of this trend. It set, it set support right here massively just for months and months and months, guys. We're talking over a year, all the way into July 2023. Uh, and if we zoom out here, I got to guess I got to go on the side here. You can see it just keeps going, keeps going back. So that's June 10th. 2023 we've tested now this uh this trend line that i drew out from all the way to february 19th of 2023 so over a year long tested it once twice three times and is coming up to that range again and i do believe can be getting a breakout here with all of these announcements coming from the aggregation layer now you do have sushi swap as well on here but i just wanted to show that this is going to be a hidden gem in my opinion uh, and for that reason i am going to be picking up some of this uh, actually, this weekend, I'll, I'll probably roll over some of my Polygon Matic into this as well just to get some access to it. But massive following on Twitter. They've had insane updates and new partners and new listings constantly, which makes me more bullish than ever. I want to see products, guys, that are not only just tweeting once a day, but multiple times a day and have that community enrollment and involvement and development. Because if you have no community, guys, you have no project. And Dex volume, guys, what makes me more bullish than ever is the DEX's volume on Polygon Matic. So not just the overall volume on Polygon Matic, but the DEX volume here, guys, is up $500 million. Total volume in the last 24 hours. We're almost breaking that $500 million. It did just two days ago. Hit $508 million on February 28th, which is the biggest, uh, the most amount of volume we have seen since March 13th or March 10th of 2023 so the volume guys in the last year is starting to pick up massively and if you look at the weekly change guys 40 percent eight percent on quick swap very important uniswap's obviously going to be the largest dex and sitting at a multi-billion dollar market cap quick swap guys is that number two it is sitting at number two right now in terms of 24 hour volume check that 179 million this is massive and in fact it actually outpaced uniswap in the last seven days. So this is a DEX you need to pay attention to. I am picking up. It's a micro cap and has ton of potential moving into this year of aggregation. You saw it on the tweet here, guys. They are commenting. They are ready. They're participating in this massive round. They're going to be one of the first to enroll in the ZK EVM ramp up. I am extremely bullish on this, guys. Polygon Matic. Here's my price predictions for you guys. Polygon Matic, even though I already said it could go up to that 30 to $40 billion range. Polygon Matic with this new aggregation layer, guys, if we were to draw out this trend, right, and it's like we can probably pull it from here, to be honest, which we're about to break out. If we were to, like, look at these assumptions, there, $40, 50 $60 billion is something that is very easily obtainable. So Polygon Matic, even though it is, in my opinion, not only a top 10 project, this is a blue chip. And if you check out on the charts as well, where we're currently sitting at with cryptocurrencies just by CoinGecko market cap, Polygon Matic, guys, isn't even... In the top 10, it's sitting at number 17, outpacing the majority of these products. I believe Polygon Matic is going to be a top 10 cryptocurrency. In fact, I think it can honestly outpace XRP this cycle and potentially even replace it as XRP gets continuously pushed out of this top 10 here. Polygon Matic still has the opportunity to do a 4 to 5x in this board. Now, I know that seems absolutely insane, guys, but that is how bullish I am on this uh, what was once a layer two turning into that layer one as well as kind of continue on into Bitcoin layer two. So that is why this is a blue chip 
for me, guys. I have Polygon Matic, Chainlink sitting at that top of that portfolio at almost all times. And even though it's only at a dollar, I know it kind of sucks watching these guys take so long to break out. But if you guys want a project that you've missed, you've missed out on tons and tons of gains already, guys. Polygon Matic is getting ready to make that leg up. And I truly believe there's going to be a day where you saw this dollar Polygon Matic, guys, where you're watching the $1 right now. We're looking at the market cap here. But when you are looking at that dollar Polygon Matic sitting at a buck and two cents, you are going to regret missing out on this opportunity, guys. Massive volume, massive network, uh, max, uh, network volume coming into this. And again, that other project here, guys, is going to be quick swap, quick swap, which I think is a true hidden gem. Look at the consolidation. I can't even be more bullish on a project. The consolidation, guys, $38 million market cap. 5 million in 24 hour uh, trading. Total supply, circulating supply, good tokenomics here for a micro trip project, guys. And again, we are looking to break out of that, not only because of the DEX volume, but on quick swap. I do believe we'll uh, test this out for a fourth time here coming soon. And if you even look at this from December, we, bit, we have a bit of a cup and handle pattern starting to play out here. This would be your cup and handle right here. So potentially could break out and see some significant upside seeing a two to three X on quick swap alone. If this does gain traction and gain that opportunity, guys, sitting at $38 million, I don't see why not that this project could hit a $380 million market cap or roughly a 10x in this market cycle, guys. The consolidation on QuickSwap is there. It's evident. And I do expect to see this to break out in the near term, guys. That's what I got for you guys today. If you want to make those gains, make sure you guys hop into our Discord. Check out everybody on Twitter, guys. And of course, check out the Bitcoin Layer 2 video right here because the next biggest trend, guys, not only is this aggregation layer, I truly believe to be Bitcoin Layer 2s. And it's all laid out in that video. Billions of dollars are going to be entering that market. So if you want your blue chips, you want your hidden gems, Bitcoin layer twos are going to be that next trend as well. So pay attention, guys. Get ready for not only the Bitcoin having, but Polygon 2.0 and of course, Bitcoin layer twos.